Meet Jimmy. Jimmy needs to get a paper done. But Jimmy also wants to make sure he gets it done properly. He's heard about plagiarism. The use of another person's ideas, whether from print, pictures, or videos, without crediting that person. Not only does plagiarism have very serious academic consequences, but it holds you back as a professional. Jimmy is always very aware, because plagiarism can take many forms. The first few forms are more obvious. Take, for instance, what's called the ghostwriter. This is when you have someone write your paper for you. Even if Jimmy's best friend agreed to write the paper for him, that would still be plagiarism. There's also what's known as the Franken paper, using pieces from other papers or sources. So Jimmy can't just copy and paste one part of a web page he found without proper citations. That's definitely plagiarism. Even if he were to change some words to synonyms, that would still be plagiarism, because it's not cited and not in his own words. Jimmy thinks that he's good from here, but boy, <laughs> is he wrong. There's turning in papers you've written in the past. You've written these, yes, and maybe you've made changes, but these are considered plagiarism because they were originally submitted as works for other assignments. This form of plagiarism is known as self-stealing, or double-dipping. Even if your paper was on a similar topic, you still need to explore new ideas. No paper is going to be just as effective in two assignments. Plagiarism can even happen when you don't mean it to. You could be in a rush and leave out a citation. You could cite a source improperly. You could forget to cite more than once for the same source. Make sure you always use the full citations. If you're missing information you need for a citation, you need to find it. Your credibility as a person and professional is dependent on this. Quadruple check it. You need to know that any outside information you include is cited and cited properly. This doesn't mean you have to use quotes all the time. Try to paraphrase your sources, putting them in your own words with their citations, as much as possible. Your paper will flow much better. Whenever you feel the clock ticking and temptation calling, just remind yourself that you're in college to develop yourself. And anything you write is your contribution to the pool of ideas. Your voice is never going to be heard if you don't use it. And think about all the positives to citing. It shows people that they can trust you because you've done the work. It shows where your voice fits within the larger pool of ideas. And if you found really cool information that might be able to help people, your citations can direct your readers to that information. Every paper is an opportunity.